All right, guys, we're almost done with this model here. So let's select the bottom floor and create a sketch. Let's use our line tool. And from this line here, we're just going to go straight down. And right here, we're going to angle it. Now let's go back to the center line, close it out. Now we can select both of these profiles and we can press pull them. And we're just going to press pull it up a little bit. And then we're going to level it out by selecting this surface back here. So let's just click it once, change it from cut to new body. And we're going to go to create mirror. Make sure that's on bodies and select the body. And for the mirror plane will be this plane here. Now we can go to the combine icon and first let's select the vehicle and let's select these two bodies we just created. Ensure the operation is set to join and hit OK. Now let's hit F to go into fillet mode and we're going to fillet all these edges around the top. Now just drag this in and once satisfied let's hit OK. And let's hit fill it one more time so we can do the bottom lines as well. But this time we'll grab every single edge. Let's just smooth this out. And be aware guys, we're not going to add too much detail here on the interior uh, floor with the pedals because it's not going to be seen as much. But we will create the pedals right now. So let's select the surface and create a sketch. And with our two point rectangle, we'll start outlining uh, where our first pedal will be. And let's round off these edges by using the fillet tool here. And let's select all four of these corners to round them off. And once satisfied, we'll right click and hit OK. Now let's press pull this. Now just give it a little thickness. Hit OK. Now we can uh, hit after going to fillet mode. And I just want to round off these edges on the top ring and the bottom ring. Make it nice and smooth so you don't cut your foot when you use it. <laughs> and one more thing I would like to do is open back up this menu on the left side if it's not already open. And I want to go down to the actual body so I can reposition this. Because I don't want it resting on this surface so when we start creating the rest of the part of the, the pedal. So right now we're going to click on the side of the pedal and we're going to go to create sketch. And we're going to use our line tool to kind of shape uh, how we want the modifications to look. So I'll just draw a line going straight up and I'll just angle it right now. And before we finish sketch, well, you can finish sketch if you want to, but I'm going to go to fill it. And I just want to fill it this harsh uh, corner here. Now we'll finish it and let's go to create pipe. Now let's rotate around the side and let's just downscale this a bit. Let's change it to new body, hit OK. And in the layers, let's move this to the center of the actual pedal. And let's move it back some so it's not on top of it. And once satisfied, we can just hit OK. And let's check this out from the front view. So let's rotate around a bit. And if need be, you can just reposition uh, this which I will do right now because it looks like it wasn't centered. Now let's select the surface of the pedal and create a sketch. And we're going to use our circle diameter circle tool to start creating some of these bumps that you see. And this is honestly my least favorite part of the whole model is doing this interior because it's so, it's so specific. And like I said, guys, this isn't going to be seen most likely, so we're not going to do too much detail. So I might just do the pedals and maybe uh, the clutch. And then we're going to call it a wrap on the, on the interior. And we'll start working on the underneath there. So let's select these here uh, outlines. I'm going to control C, control V to paste these. I'm going to paste them and move them to the side. And let's select all six of these and duplicate these. And move them down the line. And we'll control V to paste those as well. Now there's only enough space for another three. So we'll just select three and duplicate those as well. Now let's select these profiles, all of them. And we'll just press pull them at once. So we can just add a fillet to it to round them off after we press pull right now. And we're just going to press pull it slightly. So that looks fine. 
and let's round off these edges. And this can be really tedious doing these little details that no one's ever going to see. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to. That looks fine. Let's hit OK. Now let's combine this. So let's combine these two together. Hit join, hit OK. Now I think it's a good time to duplicate this and move it to the right a bit. And like actual gas. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to combine these. And typically, uh, depending on what you want to use this for, you're not going to want to combine all these pieces to the main body. But I'm just going to do that because this is just for modeling purposes. Now in the side view, we can start uh, to create a sketch. And we're going to use the circle diameter circle to create the ball joint for the clutch. So let's just draw a circle somewhere around here. And we're going to use our line tool right down the center to chop it in half. So right now we're going to finish sketch and we're going to go to rotate or revolve. And we're going to revolve this by the center line, which will give us a sphere. Now we're going to create another sketch on this surface. And we're going to use the line tool to kind of outline how we want to shape our clutch. So this looks fine. It's okay if it's too short, we can make it longer later on. Now we can finish sketch and go to create pipe. Select our line and let's change the thickness so that's way too thick. And this may be too thin, but that, that'll work for now. Now let's zoom in at the bottom. And if you left click and hold, we'll have options to select the bottom face and we can press pull this to a longer length. And once satisfied, we'll just hit OK to close it out and finalize it. And let's uh, go to the layer and go to move so we can reposition this because I don't like the way it's just not angled. Now that's good right here. And let's hit OK. And let's duplicate this. And let's move this to the right a bit. And let's angle this as well. Something different than the original one. Let's hit OK and let's go to modify scale. And I just want to downsize this. Ensure it's on uniform scale too, guys. Now we can move it down. Oh, that's actually fine here. I guess we'll just combine it from this point. Let's hit OK. And let's hit F to go to fill it. And we can fill it both of these edges at the same time. So it looks like it's manufactured this way.